Yo, what is going on guys? Jake Verdon Tech here, back with another video. And today we got a little bit of a different video from usual. Today we're going to be talking about some Christmas gift ideas that you can get for a friend or a family member that is maybe a gamer, maybe a tech nerd like myself. Some Christmas gift ideas for them. So purchasing gifts for gamers or PC enthusiasts, people that like to you know, mess with PC hardware and different types of electronics. Kind of that category of people that I put myself into and probably many of the viewers of this channel is definitely a tough category of person to buy for because in many cases, a lot of times we already have the stuff we need. So for this Christmas gift idea list, I tried to come up with some little odd and end things that maybe not everybody has that would make really good gift ideas for somebody that's kind of stumped on buying something for a friend or family that is really into tech or gaming so i don't have much of a criteria for the gifts in this video the main things i was taking into consideration is obviously it's for a tech enthusiast gamer we kind of went over that already another thing was considering things that probably not everybody has to make the gift a little bit more unique that you get them and the last thing, I was trying to make everything on this list less than $100, which I think we were able to do pretty well. So my first recommendation for a Christmas gift for somebody who is into tech, and in this case, probably more into like PC building, into tinkering with electronics, maybe they like to mod different game consoles, stuff like that. I definitely, definitely recommend the iFixit toolkit. And iFixit makes a pretty wide range of toolkits. The one that I have in particular is the iFixit ProTech Toolkit. And this is definitely my number one pick for a Christmas gift for somebody that's into tech, into tinkering with electronics, definitely into like repair, stuff like that. This is a absolutely fantastic gift. And even beyond somebody who's just into tech, I think everybody should have one of these toolkits as it's just that good. So pretty much anything you guys have seen me work on on the channel, whether it's been different PC builds, different Game Boys like the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy Advance, 3DS, we've done some different repairs and mods with that. Pretty much anything you've seen me work on on the channel, I've used the iFixit kit every single time. And the one that I have in particular is the iFixit ProTech Toolkit, which I think is probably the best bang for buck when it comes to iFixit's different sets and kits that they have. There's just so many tools packed into a small form factor. So it's nice and portable. You can take it on the go with you and you have just a wide range of different bits, different prying tools, spudgers, different types of tweezers, pretty much everything you need to work on, you know, a wide variety of electronics and probably anything else that you throw at it. Some of the odd and end stuff I've used the iFixit kit for, and one of the weirdest ones was probably at work when I worked on a Garmin G1000 unit out of a, it, they usually are in an aircraft, but this one was out of a simulator. I actually had to take apart the G1000 and replace the screen in it. And that's not an easy task, especially too, it's kind of nerve wracking it being a $40,000 unit approximately. But the iFixit toolkit had everything I need to carefully disassemble and replace the screen in that unit. So yes, my number one gift on this list is probably the iFixit kit. Definitely go check out iFixit's website. They're not sponsored or anything. I actually received mine as a gift from, I think it was, it was from my sister for either my birthday or Christmas one year. But not sponsored. Hopefully one day maybe we can do some work with iFixit. But definitely check out their website. They got a wide variety of different kits. The ProTech Toolkit, I'll have a link in the description below where you guys can check that out. That's probably the one I would recommend as it's probably the most versatile. So the next item on the list is very odd and end, but it definitely comes in handy, especially if you are buying for somebody that has a, a pretty nice desk setup that they're very particular about. And that is a plug-in air duster. I went a long time without purchasing one of these and once I did it was a big relief being able to easily dust out my computers, my desk space. It really comes in handy and it's so nice not using the regular aerosol can compressed air and then to a little bit more environmentally friendly where you're not you know throwing away those or trying to recycle them. So the electronic plug-in air duster is definitely a great gift for somebody 
like I said, that, you know, has a PC setup they're very passionate about and likes to keep neat. There may be somebody that has a setup that looks like this. Maybe it'll enforce change. Maybe they'll be motivated to, you know, clean up a little bit, but that might not be the right gift for that person if their setup looks like that. But the air duster I picked up is from Mecco, I believe. I ordered it off Amazon, and they usually run around $50, but really nice air duster. It's got a pretty high pressure mode, so you do have to be make sure you know nothing's too light because it will blow everything off the desk if you get too crazy with it. But super nice. It's great for just you know doing dusting like your keyboard or something. You don't want to pull all the keys off. It's got enough pressure to where it can get all the dust out without having to pull each individual key off if you got a mechanical keyboard. For computers, it's absolutely great this is a really great tool to have mainly just because electronics collect a lot of dust and that's from a number of things i think one of the bigger ones is heat and then obviously too if your your pc having airflow it will pull in dust over time so those filters will get kind of gummed up so this is a really good way to clean out those filters and keep your pc and your desk setup pretty dust free the next one on the list is a little bit tricky. It might not be the gift that... So the next gift idea I have on the list is different types of RGB lighting. Now we're not so much talking in terms of RGB lighting that would go inside your PC or stuff like that. We're just talking about regular home RGB lighting that you can put around your desk setup, around your entertainment center, stuff like that. This is a really good gift and it gives people the option to kind of further customize their maybe gaming space, their desk space, and give it a really cool touch. The RGB lighting that I recommend these days that I've been using for quite a while now is a lot of the Govi products I've had really good luck with. And price to performance, it's a really good product. As you guys can see, the lighting I have behind my monitors here, and then the light strip behind me, and then the lamp that's behind me, they all have Govi RGB. The lamp has one of their RGB bulbs, which not only has different colored lighting that you can adjust from the app, but it also just has regular Calvin scale lighting where you can do a little bit cooler, a little bit warmer, just regular light. And then the strips are also very customizable through the app. You can set just about any different color that you want. It has a pretty extensive color wheel. And then it also has different effects you could set. And the Govi app is really easy to connect with. It actually has all your different Govi RGB lighting devices on one page. And you can select them individually and apply different lighting to it. And then you can also save certain colors. And they'll show up on the other devices as well. So bang for buck as far as RGB lighting goes. The Govi stuff is really good. Being smart app compatible with obviously their own Govi application and then they're also compatible with different types of smart home assistants like Alexa, Google's smart home assistant and other ones and then you can program it and set it up through IFTTT and control it through something like an Elgato Stream Deck it is also a possibility which gives the RGB lighting quite a wide variety of ways to control it and it's all very convenient. So I'll link below the different Govi lights that I have around my desk setup. Like I said, I just have some of their strip lighting and then I also have the bulb. So another thing that I think would make a really good Christmas gift for, you know, somebody that's into tech, a PC enthusiast or a gamer, I think different types of mouse mats are really nice to have around and I don't think you can have too many of these, especially if you're into making YouTube videos where you like to film on different surfaces. Mouse mats, I think, make a really great gift, and especially with all the designs that are out there and available. I picked up this one recently that has a pretty cool topographical pattern. This is kind of like my main one for editing, just kind of browsing. That's kind of what this side of my desk is for right now. And then I have another one that I really like from Glorious that is actually behind me, and that is with my 240 hertz monitor where I play like different types of competitive titles. It does kind of come down to preference. Some people like just an individual mouse pad, where as I've grown really used to having a mouse and keyboard mat, something that covers both and covers majority of my desk. And two, it does protect your desktop, which is really nice as well. The next one on the list is a little bit tricky. It might not be the gift that you'll have the right idea if it's gonna be good for the person you're buying for or not. 
it might be kind of subjective depending on style and taste preferences but the next one I have on the list is a pair of blue light blocking glasses and there's a lot of companies that make these these happen to be from Gunner Gunner Optics and they're great I actually when I first got a pair of blue light blocking glasses didn't think a whole lot of it I spent a lot of time you know not just at home on the computer but I also do IT work so I'm on the computer quite a bit so I figured by the end of the day you know it'd probably be good to you know wear some blue light blocking glasses especially as it gets close to bedtime so I tried them out and I was surprised didn't think much of it woke up the next day after wearing them the night before and I felt pretty dang refreshed compared to normal so I think there definitely is something to the science of blue light blocking glasses but um, I don't know a whole lot about it so that's something you guys can look into but yeah I think this would make a decent gift for somebody that's you know into tech spends a lot of time at a computer or gaming and this is one of those things like some of the other gifts I have on this list is it might not be something that somebody buys for themselves, you know, right off the bat. Kind of one of those odd and end gifts that somebody that you're buying for might not already have. So I think this would be a decent gift if you kind of know their style and preference. But that is the tricky part. That is kind of subjective to whether or not they'll, you know, like the style you select for them. But there's a lot of companies out there that have quite a few different frames. For the lenses, these ones do have the yellow tint to them, so it's a very warm hue, which is good because it blocks out more blue light. The only thing is I wouldn't recommend doing any sort of, if you're doing photo editing while you're wearing these or different types of color grading on your videos, you definitely don't want to wear these because your colors are going to be quite a bit off if you try to balance them while wearing these. So yeah, probably not good for editing as far as color grading, photo editing, stuff like that. But if you're gaming or just, you know, on your phone before bed or whatever it might be, these definitely come in handy and I think they're good to have. So the last thing I put on the list for this video is might be a little bit of a gamble if you don't know what the person already has or doesn't have. And that was different types of peripherals. Maybe they have some kind of keyboard that has a lot of wear and tear from gaming over the years and maybe they need a new type of keyboard. There's a lot of really good keyboards out there, some really good mechanical ones these days that don't really break the bank. The Alloy Origin 60 from HyperX that I reviewed not too long ago has been a really fantastic keyboard. And it's right around the $100 mark, but for what you get as far as the, the build quality, the switches, it's hard to beat for that price and if you know somebody that maybe is looking to downsize their keyboard to a 60% I think this is a really good one to go with and then same goes for if they have a older mouse or they still have a wired mouse I think the Logitech G305 Lightspeed is an amazing way to go for a kind of budget oriented gaming wireless mouse this thing is absolutely amazing I love it I came from the Logitech G502 the wired version and I just like the minimalist look and feel of this one it's got a really good feel in the hands and being wireless is very convenient so I can move it from this side of my desk to the other and then also the battery life is insane on this thing I've had this mouse for a couple months I use it every single day gaming you know it's, it's always on I never turn it off have one AA rechargeable battery in it and after a couple months I still haven't charged the battery. So the G305 Lightspeed in my opinion has a lot going for it for the price point and if it's something that you know the person already has a home mouse that they're pretty happy with but you know they have a laptop that they're always on the go with maybe they don't have a good wireless mouse and this could be a really good one they can bring along with them. So that is going to wrap up this video guys. I really just wanted to put together a list of gift ideas for you guys out there that are trying to buy for somebody that is into tech, maybe into PC building, maybe into gaming, whatever it might be. I think this is all a pretty solid list that could apply to them. And not only a list that could apply to them, but it's probably stuff that maybe they don't already have, stuff that's kind of unique. And then it's also stuff too that doesn't really exceed the $100 price point. So I will have links below for all the products that I mentioned if you guys want to check them out. Although I raved about a lot of the stuff in this video, none of it's sponsored, but the links below are affiliate links, so 
I do get a small kickback if you guys do use those links, which is much appreciated. So Christmas is right around the corner, and hopefully this video gave you guys some pretty good ideas for those people that are into tech that are kind of hard to buy for. If you guys like the video, make sure to drop a like on it, and if you want to see more tech-related videos like this one, be sure to subscribe. As always, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.